All right, everyone, it's time for a, maybe a sane perspective on the go fund the wall thing, because I see a lot of people are like, oh, we should donate to this. It's a wonderful idea. If everyone that voted for Trump gave, what, what is it, like you know, $20 or, or some total like that, oh, we'll hit the one billion mark, and then we can build the wall. See, there are so many problems with this that I feel like anyone that's actually donating is either doing it as a joke uh, or, or, you know, is a little bit delusional. And to those of you who have already donated, I would... You know, strongly encourage you to get a refund, and I'll tell you why. Congress appropriates money for different purposes, gets earmarked for different things. If you raise a billion dollars and say, hey, our U.S. government, here's a billion dollars for the wall, Congress can take that money and do whatever it wants. They don't have to appropriate. The, the Democrats run the House. The House controls the purse strings. They're not going to put the money to the wall. Then you can't build it. In a perfect country, the, the people could get together and say, hey, we want a wall. We're going to hire private contractors, go to the border. They'll build it to certain specifications under, you know, the burdensome bureaucratic regulatory system, which would gobble up you know, probably tens of millions of that total. Uh, we'll, we'll do that, and we'll revamp the borders uh, ourselves. There's another problem. Another problem is that this campaign will probably get shut down. It's getting enough attention that it's going to get attacked. It'll probably get shut down. Number three. The amount you need to actually build the kind of border fortifications Trump is talking about is not a billion dollars. It's at least five billion just for the most vulnerable segments. The total cost is in the tens of billions of dollars, not a billion. Also, let's say a billion dollars gets raised by this triple amputee Purple Heart recipient. Yes, thank you for your service, but I don't think you quite thought one thing out. If you raise a billion dollars on GoFundMe and you pay taxes on that, do you have a billion dollars? No, you don't even come close. You'll end up taking 600 million or something. Oh, that's right. GoFundMe takes a cut. Make that 500 million. You see where this story starts to break down a little bit? And by the way, how long do you think it take at the rate uh, that the, the crowdfunding is going? How long do you think it take to raise the, even that billion that gets slashed to half a billion and doesn't even get disbursed to the wall because Congress just takes it and does but fuck whatever it wants? The fucking squirrels it away in its own pockets, puts it towards food stamps or something. What, you, how long do you think it takes? Huh, some years, yeah. By 2030, you'll have enough money. Will GoFundMe be around in 2030? How do you know it will? Now, th this is a, a doomed campaign. And let me just say this. It could just be an uh, attention-seeking opportunity by the maker. He's like, yeah, it'll get shut down and whatever, but I'll, be no I'll have notoriety from this. It'll be pretty funny. One thing I will say about it, it's getting a lot of attention, but the problem is a lot of it's negative, because people are like, well, right before Christmas, and you're trying to keep kids out of the country instead of raising money for some worthy welfare cause, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm not taken in by that stupid argument. It's like, oh, you can't be generous to your fellow man while also defending your borders. I, obviously, that falls through. But the left isn't going to join you in trying to fund the wall. They don't even think we should have a border. And then, you know, the centrists aren't going to fund such a thing. They're going to be like, hey, no, Uncle uh, Trump told us Mexico was going to pay for the wall. Why the fuck should I be having to give to GoFundMe or something? This money is not going to go for the wall. You do realize that, right? I don't care if three, four million dollars has already been raised. Wonderful. That's not a billion dollars. And you're not going to get a bill. Let's say you raise the billion on GoFundMe. Again, after GoFundMe takes a cut, after taxes... You don't have a billion dollars. It's nowhere near. It's less than a tenth of what... It's, it's, it would be one-tenth the total that Trump was asking for in total spending just to revamp certain vulnerable parts of the border with a more coherent defense system. Right now, we need to upgrade the, the posts themselves. There are certain areas where, you know, the, the border defense dates to like the 80s and 90s. It's going to be a little bit less, you know, formidable. And that's just to revamp it, to turn it into a taller fence that's electronically monitored. It's not actually much more of an impediment than you have now in some of the better parts of the border. What are you hoping to accomplish with this? I don't understand what anyone hopes for with this. I, I, I hate to sound like I'm blackpilling, and some people are like, well, I disagree. This dude's a combat veteran. Okay, wonderful. I'm sure he's probably a great guy. But the GoFundMe's doomed. It's going to get taken down. The money is not going to go towards the wall. Again, in a perfect country, the American people could voluntarily do those sorts of things. Say, well, we want this road built. Government refuses to fund it. We'll build it. After you go through all the regulatory hurdles, you'll see exactly why everything is, is over time and over budget in this country. You realize the number of regulations? International uh, diplomacy would certainly play a role. 
You know, you built the wall in the wrong spot. You accidentally built it in Mexico. I think that might be a little bit of a problem. Private p individuals can't do that. The, the Obama admin didn't even want private groups to be able to defend the border, even on, on segments of private property, to give you an example of how the government looks at these situations. Now, is this a good system? No. Do I agree with it? Absolutely not. I think we should deregulate that. I think private individuals should be able to staff the wall. If they want to sit there with a shotgun and defend the border, they should be able to do so. They want to build a part, a part of a wall. If, if, if Texas says, well, fuck the federal government, we've got oil revenue, we're going to build our own border defenses ourselves along our border, they should be able to do that. Will the federal government let them or will they sue them over it? They'll sue them over it. They want to be the ones, the big kahunas in charge of everything that goes on in the country. So no, this, uh, this uh, fundraising is doomed completely. It's never going to happen. Um, and, and with all due respect to some other creators who are promoting it, again, funny idea. Good idea on paper, in theory. Possibly a justified idea. Border defense, I certainly agree. We do need a wall. And I am upset that Trump has not done more. I think he should shut down the government to try to get his funding. It's still possible that happens. But this is not going to help the situation. It's simply not. Pragmatically, literally speaking, no theory, no on paper, it looks good sort of rhetoric. You're looking at, at, at even if the fundraiser were successful and doesn't get torpedoed, it still would not work. That's about all. Peace out.